Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey y'all, welcome to the Magnolia State. My name's Brandon and this is my English Lab Willow. All right. Each week we like to show the highlights and sometimes the lowlights okay. of our time together. And as always, I'm definitely not a professional trainer. I like watching how other people interact with their dogs. So feel free to grab some ideas from how I train and spend my time with Willow each week. This week we found a new place to walk. So I leashed Willow at the start just to be safe. Willow, come. Good girl. Heel. Good. But as soon as I felt comfortable, I let her off leash to go explore. So this is a new trail that we found this week. Uh, it's a cool trail because it's all through the woods. It's actually semi-close to our house. But we've never been here as a team together. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? What are you staring at? Okay, sit. Right on cue, the point I was about to make happens for real. There's a chair up there. Do you see something else? My biggest fear is actually her running up on a skunk. I don't know what she was barking at right then. It might have been that that chair, that bench back there. But I actually have never seen her bark on a walk. So I'm not sure what she was barking at. Which brings up a point about going to new places. You're supposed to take your dog to new places. You're supposed to get out and explore and have fun. But sometimes you don't know what you're going to. You don't know what's out there. You don't know if it's safe. You don't know a lot about it. But it's pretty here. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Back at the house, it was the time of the week that I always clean Willow's ears. She hates this even more than cleaning her teeth. She has floppy ears and they can get pretty dirty, so I have to give her a good incentive to comply with a weekly ear cleaning. So, Willow has hated getting her ears cleaned. <laughs> Ever since she was little, no, no, leave it. So, I have to bribe her with cheese. She's had quite a few ear infections before I finally figured out that cleaning her ears is pretty much a weekly necessity. This has a little bit of solution on it. All right. She's just tolerating this so that she can have... Leave it. We are always training. Release. Good girl. Okay, we gotta do another one. I know you do not like it. We gotta do this one. Come here. Come here. See how dirty that gets? She doesn't like it, but leave it. Release it. She loves cheese. Best thing to do, try and normalize touching ears, paws, all the things that they don't really like to have done. Back up. Yes. Leave it. Release. Good girl. Good girl. We're all done. Okay, you're free. <laughs> There's no more. Hi. Right. First cut of the year. She's been through this for a full season before. We'll see how she takes to the loud noise. All right, you ready to cut some grass? Hmm? You ready to cut some grass? I put this place board out here for her. As a place she can just, oh, are you tired? What is your tongue hanging out for? As a place she can just chill out and relax while I cut. We'll see if she wants to stay on it. You're free. You don't have to be on it the whole time. You all want to see if she'll actually get up here? Sit right there. Let's see. Willow, come. Come. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no, Daddy. Getting Willow used to loud noises has been something I've talked about in previous videos, so I like having her around when I'm running the mower. 
However, if you have a retriever as a pet, I suggest looking through the grass that's near your house for whatever your dog likes to find throughout the winter. For Willow, it's rocks. Big rock one. Little rock. Little rock. Little rock. Big rock. Guys, trust me, rocks and windows do not mix. Big rock two. Check this. I bet she'll run when she sees this. Whoop. Yep. She never liked the blower. I gotta do it. Oh. Yeah. Wanna smell it? Wanna smell it? <laughs> no. Back out on one of our walks this week and we found something to climb on. And I've said it before, the more new stuff I can put her on, the higher her confidence gets in real world situations. Yeah. All right, what do we have here? It doesn't do anything. Good. You wanna come on up? There you go. Good, stay. That's a good girl. Okay, let's get you down. Ready? There you go. Ugh. All right, you ready? We didn't do anything extreme this week, so I figured we'd take an opportunity this week to show a bit more of Willow's weekly care routine. Earlier, you saw me cleaning her ears. Well, this week, we also needed to trim her front nails. All right. So the way we do nails is this Dremel tool. Sit down. We file them back with this. Yeah, good. All right, you want to smell it? What do you think? Good. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. I know, thank you, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, yes, very good. Good, yes. Good. Nope. Stay. Good girl. Let me see this. Good job. All the treats. Good job. Honestly, I don't have a nail trimmer because it was just one more thing to buy in the beginning and I was completely tapped out. Let's head over to Willow's favorite part of every single day. Ready? Yeah, you're ready. All right, here we go. You see her food is sloshing around. That's because I mix her kibble with water. It makes it go down easier. Oh, and just like with thresholds, she always has to wait on me to release her. She's very hungry. There it is. In 30 seconds, the food will be gone. So let's just go back out to one of our walks. Time for some ball. You ready? Leave it. Release. Yeah, she got it. She got it. Heel. Wanna do it again? You ready? Leave it. Here we go. Please watch closely where this ball goes. I'll need some help in a little bit to find it. Release. What are you doing? Release, go get it. She thought I was going to recall her. Sometimes these labs, this lab anyway, where is she? She thinks she's smarter than everybody else. 
Sometimes she's right. You guys want to see how a lab sniffs and finds things? They fan out. So she'll fan out. When she loses the scent, she goes back. Where's your ball? She goes back. And then when she loses the scent, she go, she turns the other way. I think she's totally lost it now, but she'll turn, fan out, sniff. When she can't smell it, she'll come back the other way. So she makes this pattern until she until she triangulates in and zeroes in on it. And I think it's probably right out here somewhere. Let's go see. I didn't realize there were thorns out here. See, another scenario where I don't know the area very well. And I threw her ball out here and it might have been hurting her. And now I feel like a dodo. So, let's find her ball. Well, this goes to show you how hard it is for a dog to actually find an orange ball in a field. I can't even see it. I have no idea, and I just threw it underhanded right out here. So, for her to come out here and be ground level, I have no idea where this ball is. All right, I'm gonna have to look back at the recording, I guess. Let's look back here and see where it is. So I found it. I went back and looked at the recording and walked in the direction that it looked like it went. Y'all remember I put her in that sit stay. Whoop. There she is. She's still in it. So check this out. See if you can find it. This is from a dog's viewpoint. That's hard to see. But we got it. And we're going to head on out. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, let's go. Sorry, Willow. Yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, on one of our walks this week, I took off walking without making sure Willow was right beside me. When I realized she wasn't with me, I called her. She didn't come. I went back to figure out where she was, and she discovered a pile of french fries someone had left on the ground. Watch the hold these french fries have on her and how it can interrupt her usually spot-on obedience. Oh, nope. See there? Look at that. Up. Oh. No. Up. Oh. Let's go. Nope. Oh, she wants him bad. You're not listening. Up. Oh. Guaranteed, when she gets out of this truck the next time, she'll go right to that spot. It'll take you a week to train them to do a behavior. One time eating a french fry in a parking lot. And she thinks they're there for the rest of her life. Willow has an extreme relationship with food. Y'all, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like watching a good girl do good things. And we'll see you on the next one. Yes, go on. Go on. Okay, you ready? Here we go.